Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Update pup date time, week 30. If you're new to this channel, I do this style video every single Sunday as my bull mastiff Tua turns another week older. He's 30 weeks old today. And I basically do this just to uh, give any potential future bull mastiff owners a good log of information on what to possibly expect at very specific times throughout this breed's life. I've um, been doing these videos for a long time now and uh, basically update you guys on not only physical size um, such as weight and height. I do height every single month. I just started doing that. Um, so when he turns is exactly seven months old next week, I'll be doing that. But lots of behavioral things, training things. Uh, go ahead, check them all out. The first thing that I wanted to touch on today was uh, just basically a chew toy that he has. I've talked a little bit about it in the past, like when we first got it, but it is a uh, cow or buffalo horn. I want to say it's a buffalo horn. I think I've been calling it cow horn a lot, but I want to say it's more specifically a buffalo horn. And Tua absolutely loves it. It's probably his favorite chew toy. We've had it for a couple months now, and he chews on it for, I'd say, at least an hour, like every single day. It's always his go-to. And uh, I definitely recommend it to anybody since he loves it so much. I think you guys should give it a try for your bull mastiff or your dog. And uh, after a couple of months of having it, it's uh, it's barely worn out. He did get it kind of frayed at the ends where he was able to start like ripping chunks off of it. And I just simply cut off that portion um, so that he couldn't take off those little chunks and eat them or they get all over the house kind of thing. And once I cut that off, it's basically as good as new, and he's back to chewing on it like crazy. So I would imagine this is going to last uh, probably like six months, eight months, maybe even up to a year if I'm able to just keep keep on doing that. And they're not very expensive, guys, either. I'll leave a link down here um, in the comments so you guys can check them out if you're interested. Now on to the stuff that I normally touch on every single week, starting with weight. Last week, Tua weighed 90 pounds. And now he's up four pounds. So he's 94 pounds. So that's two weeks in a row of uh, pretty big weight gains, pretty significant. I think last week was five pounds and now we have a four pound week. So that's almost 10 pounds in two weeks, guys. Um, it's only gonna be another week or two and this guy's gonna be at 100 or over 100. So that's pretty cool. That's a big milestone for him to hit 100 pounds. I'm pretty excited for it. He's turned into a really big boy. Um, Socialization is another thing that I touch on every single week. This week was a really good week for it. Uh, we got him on lots of walks. We got him into stores a few different times. I didn't really get a great video or anything of him when he was in the stores because every time it was just my daughter and myself and uh, my hands were full basically, but I, I got a few little clips here. Um, but he did really good in those stores like normal. He's walking great with me. Uh, guys, he absolutely loves people. Um, the only pulling that he does when we're walking is when he does see people. He, he wants to get on them. He wants them to pet him. He wants to get loved on by them. Um, I, I really don't anticipate there's going to be any issues with people inside or outside of our house ever. Um, he's been well socialized and we're continuing to socialize him. And he absolutely loves people. I don't know if it's a breed specific thing or if it's just him or how we brought him up, but uh, great with people, guys. Um, another thing for socialization this week that we did with him was we always bring our daughters to a park, or we try to at least once a week. It's just a, a close one near near a house. And uh, there was lots of people there, and there was a dog. Um, not sure what the dog was. It was a lot smaller than Tua. It was maybe 30 or 40 pounds at the very most. And those people kind of were keeping their distance, but I could tell that they kind of wanted their dog to come see Tua. So I just was like, hey, you don't have to be afraid of him. Like, he, he loves dogs. He loves people. We can see if they want to interact. So we did. And uh, that dog actually kind of lunged at Tua at one point. And you could see those people, there was kind of like a, a quick gasp, like, oh, oh my, what's, what's this big dog going to do? And even for a split second, I kind of thought like, oh, here we go. This might be Tua's first sign of aggression because this dog definitely did it in an aggressive way. And Tua had no signs of aggression at all. He literally just like put his paws down on the ground, butt up in the air, and he just wanted to play with this dog. And uh, so that's great. Up to this point, almost seven months old or at 30 weeks, I guess today, um, he's had no signs of dog aggression whatsoever. And... 
Same thing, not knowing if that's breed specific or Tua specific or just because of the way we brought him up and socialized him or a little bit of everything. But uh, that's great because if you guys are regular viewers of this channel, you know that I had a Doberman before um, him and that Doberman was very dog aggressive. So it'd be really great if uh, we could keep Tua on that path of loving people and loving other dogs, which I, I think he will at this point um, if we continue doing what we're doing. Drooling is another thing that I touch on every single week. The last couple of weeks I had mentioned that we were starting to experience the first drooling that was non-food related, non-water related. Um, that didn't change. He had a little bit of drooling on walks when he was getting hot and like having pant panting heavily. Um, and then obviously with food and water, but like I say every week, it's not a big deal with the food and water because you know exactly when it's gonna happen and you're able just to wipe it up with a paper towel or hand towel or whatever. And then on those walks and stuff, it, it's really not too intense. It's just a little bit coming out the sides of his mouth every once in a while, and it's just falling on the ground. It's not like it's that messy or anything yet. I'm sure it'll increase as time goes on because bull mastiffs are droolers. Uh, they're known for that. But no big deal for me, at least to this point. Another thing that I touch on every week is what we're feeding him as far as raw goes. For raw diet this week, we did chicken breast, chicken feet, and some beef liver. Uh, Tua loved all of those, did great with all those, no bad reactions, he's had them all in the past. Um, so yeah, really good. I'm still cutting up those chicken feet because I, I still don't want him to possibly choke on one. Some of them are pretty big. And uh, he's not the best at chewing up his food completely. He still is kind of one of them dogs that for the most part is, tends to swallow his kibble and stuff whole. So I definitely am still cutting up those chicken feet. Otherwise, everything's going great with raw diet. Uh, another thing that I touch on every week is barking. And that pretty much is unchanged from last week. Um, he's definitely becoming more vocal, but he's not the type of dog just sit out and bark for no reason at nothing. Um, the only time that he really tends to bark is when he there's the unknown. Like if he's hearing dogs bark in the in the distance or hears sounds in the distance that he's unsure of he'll bark you know for maybe 20 30 seconds something like that or until he can see exactly what's going on or figure it out and then he kind of stops so barking has been a non-issue to this point he also barks a lot when he plays with our miniature pincher um, but he doesn't bark at dogs if he sees them when we're walking or anything like that he pretty much has to be playing with the other dog energy is something else that i touch on every week also it was mostly down this week, and I think I would attribute that to we just kept him so busy this week between walks and going to stores and just random play and going to parks. He had a lot of mental and physical stimulation this week. So whenever we did get a chance to kind of like come home and just relax, he pretty much just slept. Um, but that's, that's kind of a breed specific thing. These bull mastiffs, it doesn't take a lot to wear them out, even in these puppy stages. Like looking back to my Doberman Pinscher, I could like take him on my bike and and go like on a full sprint for him for like a mile or two, and he still wanted more. Whereas Tua, like we go for like a mile, just kind of slow walk, and then play a little bit in the backyard or something, and he's pretty much lights out uh, for the day and into the night. So that's definitely a breed specific thing. You don't need to do a whole lot to wear these dogs out, especially if you get them into a store and just kind of take a couple laps, just seeing everything and all the people and everything that's going on just mentally even if there's not a lot of physical the mental stimulation just kind of wears them out also kind of like a little kid too um so yeah that's kind of everything from the week this week um kind of a boring normal week i guess nothing too big to make note of other than he's starting to put on that weight again guys he's gonna be a hundred pound dog real soon but other than that everything was completely normal uh nothing too much to write home about like I said as always if there's anything that you want me to touch on every single week that I don't already let me know otherwise take care guys and thanks for watching